First one to check and see how the fine. good egg is fine. Yeah. You were anticipating that, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I asked LeBron on the court, but AD, what are the, when you're in a, a possession you're most focused on and how much of it is it has to do with the opponent and, and what do you guys go to in those settings? Um, I feel like this team is a little comfortable early in the game, got their confidence. Um, they got some guys that can make plays. Kevin Porter, Christian Wood, uh, Jalen Green, and I'll shoot the ball. Amarni Brooks played tonight who can shoot the shot of the ball, DJ Augustine, and um, you know, they, all got, they all got hot. You know, they made shots tonight. Um, didn't make a lot of shots on Sunday. And, you know, when you got a young team like that with no conscience, um, like I say, you really don't expect to win this, you know, squad there and hoop. Um, and they made a lot of shots. And, you know, late game when you try to get a stop, you just don't want to, depending on the time scoring situation, you don't want to give up um, a three in our case. Um, and Jalen made a tough ass story, you know, over me, you know, six feet away from the three point line. So, um, you know, we just don't want to give up, give up threes in that in that situation. Um, but we're able to come out with the win. It, have you ever seen that situation where points come off the board? And I think that because the and how was that explained to you guys? Um, set the the scoreboard had 14 fouls. You know, they saw four when they called the foul which means it was the fifth and they shot two free throws. Um, and when they went back to look at it, it was only the fourth team foul. You know, they put it up there right away. So it was, it was really four. Um, and so they took the two points away. But what me, Brian, and Coach are explaining to the refs, well, we lost a possession. You know, we didn't take the ball out or anything. You know, we shot free throws, take points away. Now we just lose the entire possession, which could have cost us the game. Um, so, I mean, they were saying there's nothing they can do about it. And, Stuff like that. So, um, good thing it didn't hurt us, but yeah, that's a that was a funky situation. LeBron, yesterday evening you jumped on Twitter to announce how excited you were to play in today's game. What struck you in that moment, and did you feel like uh, not only yourself but other members of your team brought a little extra <clears throat> energy, excitement to the court tonight? Um, I just felt like I had a great 48 hours after our game on Sunday, as far as my preparation, as far as my ankle. As far as me getting back to, uh, you know, feeling like myself. And I was also uh, having to be watching uh, the Monday night game, watching Pat Mahomes throwing the ball sideways uh, on the side of uh, defenders running at him, and also watching a bunch of NBA games as well at the same time. So, you know, the competitive juices just started flowing. So that's when I sent the tweet out. LeBron, there was that segment in the fourth quarter. You scored 10, ten straight. Um, was there... Something you just were feeling? Was there a matchup you liked or a look that you liked in particular? No, it was just about, uh, just about the moment. Um, just loved the moment and just tried to make uh, the best plays to help our team win. And, you know, at that point in time, it caused for me to score. And I was able to bring us um, a few buckets at the time. AD, um, I know you guys keep saying this is all about you, your team. But you just played those guys on Sunday. And they challenge you guys really hard. What did they do to your defense to make you guys know you have to get better at that? Well, like I said, they made shots tonight. Um, all their guys shot the ball well. I mean, that whole starting five shot the ball well. Uh, and that guy's off the bench. So, um, you know, hats off to them. You know, like I said, it's a young team that's, that's coming in and just playing with a lot of freedom. Um, and they got guys who can play. And on Sunday, they didn't make a lot of shots. Um, and today, tonight, they did. And... You know, we just try to play the, as best, uh, as good as defense as we can and take the ball out if they make it and, and, and run, you know, and score right back. So um, it was just a matter of trying to, um, you know, contain those guys, you know. And then, like I said, I feel like they got really comfortable to start the game um, and kind of just gave them that confidence throughout the course of the game. Thanks, the Wire in Houston did have a chance to win, not their best defensive performance. Yeah, not, not their best defensive performance against a really young team that, you know, some self-inflicted, you know, wounds and, and turnovers that the Rockets made. But after giving up 70 points in the first half, the Rockets only scored 47 points in the second half. And so it, it's going to sound like a broken record, but that is the only recipe for success with this team. Right now, they don't shoot it well enough from long distances to get into offensive battles against teams. 
So they're going to have to be a team that can hold teams to 100 or less, score 110, and, and walk away with the game. It starts getting into 120, 125. I don't know if that's the way the Lakers want to win games this year. Yeah, I mean, look, you don't want to give up 35 points in two quarters, but, you know, you want to take your hat off to something that was 19 points, as Fish said, and the third was something they, they need to concentrate on out of the four quarters that they had. Uh, they can concentrate on that. I thought, you know, they did some good things. Like you said, Gita, they, they, they dominated in the paint when they needed to. Uh, the Rockets turned the ball over uh, more than, than the Lakers did, but the Rockets <laughs> scored more points off the Lakers turnover. Mm. So that was something they, you know, they needed to take a look at. I think they scored 26 points off the Lakers turnover. 16 but, threes. Yeah, yeah. Also so, they hit. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's work in progress still, but, you know, you want to hang your hat on the defense in the third. Yeah, you know, a couple things. First of all, the Lakers' pace is outstanding. I mean, they're fun to watch on offense. They're really cruising the ball up and down the court. The problem is if you don't get back on defense, and we saw a lot of that, especially in that first half, this team should not be scoring 70 points in the first half, all right? They were, they were 26th in the league in points coming into tonight. But that's a product of you're almost outrunning your defense. You're so fast on offense. One player in particular, Russell Westbrook, he's bringing that attitude to this, uh, to this team. Fun to watch, but you've got to get back on defense. You've got to put teams like this away a little bit earlier. Yeah, it's also just being connected and being engaged on, on yeah. that end of the floor, right? In that first half, you're playing a Rockets team you blew out the night before and a couple nights before. So, listen, the big three, Brez, um, we've talked a lot about them. By far, their best offensive night together. For sure. Would yeah. you say? Absolutely. I mean, look at the numbers, 30, 27, and 27. Uh, it doesn't get much more balanced than that. Uh, the thing I like also about Russ, really aggressive with his shot. In that last game against Houston a couple days ago, he had one free throw. You know, that's not the Russ Westbrook uh, style of play. Much more assertive tonight, uh, going heavy to the basket. Uh, AD did what he had to do as well against a, a very undersized and inexperienced Houston front court, especially with no uh, Daniel Tice in there. And LeBron, what, what more can you say about him? He really got going in that fourth quarter. He, he really did. Uh, James, real quick on the big three, because I do want to talk about that fourth quarter. Well, you know what? Let's let's get there now. So LeBron's fourth quarter, 14 in the fourth Ooh. big game, James. And he had that look. He had that motor. He was going downhill, hitting the fadeaway. He had it all. Well, you know, I, I was going to talk about Westbrook. What a threat he is, one-on-one. -on -one taking people all the way to the cup yep. going downhill. LeBron actually was on fire tonight. Whoever was in front of him, able to absorb the contact and finish at the rim. He, I mean, he had the, sh the outside shots when he wanted it, but that's not what he was looking for when he needed to score some points. He was trying to get the two and the old-fashioned three if he could. So very aggressive play. He and Westbrook are going to be hard to deal with if they can continue to collapse defenses like they're doing. Yeah, and I thought LeBron played chess tonight with, with the Rockets defensively. Mm -hmm. Early in this game, he was assertive offensively. Like, he, he wanted to show tonight that anybody questioning whether or not I was going to play, I'm here to play. Really good first half. And then in the third quarter, he, he really kind of took a step back. I think he only attempted one field goal in the third mm -hmm. quarter. And then in the fourth quarter, he stepped on the gas again. And it's, it's really difficult mentally more even than physically to, to play that way. But he's still able to keep himself focused throughout the course of a game. Something you picked up when we were watching, you talk about playing chess, the young Rockets were picking him up way too high. Yeah. And that is just not the way to play LeBron James. No. Because he got going downhill and they had absolutely no answer. Yeah, and once not, he's going, it's over. Not at all. Yeah. If, if your shell has to be really, really tight when you play against LeBron, similar to Giannis and other guys that are great getting downhill. If you don't have a tight wall and shell defense, they're going to carve you up. The Lakers don't shoot the three well enough to not have shown LeBron more crowd. They were six 